Hello everyone, I'm just gonna give a few minutes, or a few seconds I should say, um, to see if I have people joining in. And um, <clears throat> today, I want to share um, a few cards um, for Easter. And so I think I want to, I just got this one. And so I think we're going to be using this one for the cards tonight. And um, and I also liked a lot that butterfly. So I will be using that one as well. And just so that you know the names. This one is Beautiful Day. And this one is Hello Easter. Which I think is great for spring and, and Easter. And I love this little guy. And honestly, I didn't have any saying... <laughs> Um, a part of a little tiny, the little saying that says Happy Easter from little tiny messages, which is like really small. So I want something larger than that. So I just got this one because of that too. Um, so let me just put all my car stock here. And I think we're going to start first with this one since it involves some coloring. And go from there. Okay, so... <clears throat> I I have here and of course let me just get my ruler <sighs> so I forget every every time this so anyway so this one is uh, Bermuda Bay and this one is five and a half by eight and a half which I'm going to be folding in half right here in my let me just go here hello Sandy <laughs> All right, so let me just go ahead and do that. Oh, hi, Lucy. Hi, Teresa. Don't worry. Um, you can always watch the uh, replay, Sandy. Thank you so much for sharing, Lucy. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so <clears throat> then I have a piece of... Um... Oh, hi, Diane. Hola, tia. <laughs> um, so... This one is basic black. It's five by three and three quarters. This one is um, four and one four and three quarters by three and a half, which is where we're gonna be doing the stamping. And then I have a little scrap of um, pool party, and this one is about four inches and half an inch. And I also that cut already the butterfly. From, let me just tell you which one is this. I pulled out all my print lists yesterday. So Bold Butterfly, which by the way, um, is this one. Really coordinates well with this one. This is not new, but um, we often forget about those. So Butterfly Thin Lights. And in fact, I'll show you something here in a minute. But anyway, so I have already the butterfly here. And I'm going to be using... Thank you, Lynn. Thanks for sharing. And oh, Sarah, <laughs> I know I haven't seen you in forever. I think so. I'm happy you're here, Sarah. So anyway, so I'm using the what is this? The Memento Black because I want to be um, coloring with the blends. So. I just wanna make sure I have a really dark. I really like the archival, but since I'm gonna be coloring with the blends, you, you are supposed to be using the memento so that you don't pull any of the ink um, when coloring. So, <clears throat> but honestly, I feel like the archival black gets a crisper black um, image. So, I tend to use that one a lot more than the Memento. Although, like I said, for if you're going to be coloring, you definitely need to be using the Memento. And by the way, one thing that I just learned is that the demand has been so crazy for the blends that Stampin' Up! is going to be deactivating this product for just a couple of months. So I think Friday is the last day to get on the back on the back order because a lot of the product a lot of the blends are going on back order and so 
after Friday at noon, Mountain time, they're not going to be able to, uh, you're not going to be able to purchase them for a while until I believe it's going to be sometime in May. So, um, definitely, if there's a color you want, get on that back order. If it's on back order, get on that back order. Also for the collection of the blends, um, so that you can still get them. So, anyway, I'm using both the Bermudas, the light and the dark, as well as the uh, pool party. Hello, Shelly. The pool party, both the light and the dark. And, like always... I don't really have um, a card, but um, but I always have the idea in my in my head. So, um, but anyway, I figure those four colors will go really well, and so I'm just going to put the darker of the Bermuda Bay right on the center because I wanted to really coordinate well with my card base. Yes, sir. I love them. I really do. <clears throat> I think those are my favorite things. So then, I'd probably be using this one. Yes, and this one is the darker of the pool party. And I'm not really going to be doing any blending. I just want to have that, um, what is this? Like um, stained glass, if you will, but with paper. Because I feel like these, these, um, what is this? This set really looks like that. So then I'm going to be putting the light. Okay. And then I'm thinking I'm going to be using... Oh, this one doesn't have that one. Oh, okay. I didn't thought about that. But you know what? I probably just put the darker. So I'm just gonna go over that one so they don't have. Let me just redo this one. I didn't realize there's only three sections on this one, huh? So the next thing will be to cover this one with the lighter of the yeah this one there we go that way I have some sort of contrast there and so you wouldn't even tell there was the lighter color there hmm um okay okay and like always hi tend to get really quiet when I am coloring. I guess I have to concentrate. And you know what? I think that it will be also gorgeous if you embose, you know, the heat embossed, the butterfly. So here is that one. She kind of has the shading there. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, it kind of looks like um, stained glass. Um, and then one thing here, see, this is what, where's my markers? Um, like, see, there's a little spot there that it's kind of bugging me. So, I'm just taking my markers and I'm just going to go over that section. Just because it bugs me that it's not black. And I should probably just go, just because it bugs me. All right, so, so you can see it here. Now, here's the other thing that I was thinking. Well, if you don't have that, um, this set, I was thinking you could do this butterfly instead, glue it, and then color inside with the blends that's what i was thinking so if you don't have because it kind of looks similar i mean it's smaller a bit but i thought it would be cool um also to use that one then um i have these and 
I thought it would be nice to have. I almost never use vellum, so I thought it would be nice to have that. So let me just put everything together here. So I'm gonna be using my fast fuse. Yes, yes, Diane, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> So, like I said, they're being so popular and there's so much demand that from what the Stampin' Up! said is like the supplier cannot keep up with the demand. I guess they're really popular. And so, <clears throat> they're going to still carry them. It's just that for a while, they're not going to let you order them so that, um, so that they can uh, catch up. Um with all the orders that they have already on order or on hold. Um, so anyway, um, we're gonna be putting this one here. Um, let me just add, and for these, oh, we're just gonna put a glue dot. So it kinda has that kind of dimension. Hmm. And I should probably, let me just do this. I should probably, I should have kind of done this before. A little bit. I always forget about these things. What is this? Yes. So it kind of has a little bit of a, and then I will put some rhinestones. So I'll put one big one for like the head. And maybe just some of the smaller ones. Because there has to be some sort of bling, right? Don't you think? So I'm just going to put like... Like so. I'm not going all the way here because I think it will look kind of weird. But I'll have those. And then for the sentiment, I want to put here Happy Easter. And... I'm using the Hello Easter set and <clears throat> I'll be using the black, the archival one. And, oh, can you see? No. All right. Yes. I like the vellum. Like I said, I almost never use vellum. I don't know why. Although I really like the the look in it. So anyway, I should probably use it more. Now, as always, I'm just doing a little flag on both of the ends. And we're going to be putting... <clears throat> dimensionals so I'm going to be putting some dimensionals And it's gonna go like so here. So this is the first one. And I really like how this little bling looks. So here we go, that's number one. And um, let me go for the next card. The next card, oh, I should probably start with this one. So I already had it right here. So I have a piece of powder pink and this one, <clears throat> ah, you know what? I should probably use one of these pieces too. I think that will look nice. Yes, maybe. All right, so this one is five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to be folding it in half. And I have a piece of the lots 
lots of lovely design series paper, which is from the um, annual catalog, and is this one, if you don't remember which one it is. I think we get all into the um, occasions catalog, and then we forget about all this other paper. So, I'm using that one. And um, I think I'm gonna be putting it like so. But you know what? I'm gonna be putting a piece of Whisper White as well. And this one is two, two by five and a half. And this one is just a scrap, which is about, it's about um, <clears throat> a half of an inch. And then I'm just cutting it to where I need it. And then here's where I don't know. So I don't know if I want it, because this one is going to go, I want it to have it like so. So I don't know if I like it that way or like this. Let me see. I think I like it better that way. So, so I'm going to be gluing that as well. putting this one here yes and for this one um, I have a piece of um, whisper white which is just scrap I have the crumb cake and I'm using the little bunny from happy Easter which is this little guy and again, this is crumb cake. And whenever you have a solid image on the photopolymer, it's best to use the foam mat. You get a better um, ink transfer from your stem to the paper. <clears throat> so I have already um, fussy cut this one with scissors. So. So I already cut it. And one thing that if you notice, it looks darker, but once it kind of dries, it gets a little bit softer. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> okay, so now here's the thing. We're gonna be putting this one somewhere here. I have a scrap of um, powder pink as well. And I'm gonna be putting the same, um, what did I do with the pink but oh here. The Happy Easter. I'm going to be putting it there. <clears throat> Hi, Ann. I'm glad you found me. All right. So, same deal as the other one. We're going to be cutting. Okay. So, you see the flags. And then I have already put a lot of the little stamps from this set. I have some leaves, so I'm just going to be doing like a background. <laughs> They're good. And plus there's always every play here, so don't worry about it. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to have a scrap paper. I'm just going to go with the... Lemon Lime Twist, and I'm just going to go ahead Okay, and I figure I needed some flowers So I'm just going to go ahead, and this is, what is this? Brushing Bright Okay and I saw that there is like a little mini dot from those stamps. So 
So um, let me just put a little bit of the. This is what is Galypso coral, so that it adds a little, a little something there. Let me just get it here because I cannot see. The phone is on the way. There we go. And um, maybe it's pool party. Oh. My goodness. Just to have some other flower seed in there. Um, I think I'm going to leave it to do that. Um, what is this? I can probably put a little bit of this flowers too. There are other. Hello, friend. So maybe here. And so now I'm going to be putting this little bunny like here and then this one will go here. I don't think I like this one that dark so I'm just going to change that. I need to clean my stamp set. I probably will need, maybe I'll do also um, the... What is this? The uh, crumb cakes? I think it's too dark. Everything is so soft and the sentiment is too, too dark. Don't you think? So I'm going to be changing that. Let me just make sure. There we go. To um, The good thing is that it is photopolymer. And so I can see where to stamp okay oh yes i think i think this one looks much better than the than the black Hola, Sosh. yeah see this one was too yes i think i like this one better um yeah you always get to see me changing things depending on what i think So, thank you, Sarah. Oh, yeah, that will be also really great for Mother's Day. That's a good idea. All right, so we're going to be putting this one. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, oof, I always forget about ribbon. Since I have this one, I think it will go really well. And I'm using the mini strip ribbon. And this one is Lemon Lime Twist. And you can see, because it has the white, it doesn't look that bright of a green. So I think this one looks really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and tie a knot. Let's just do that. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Pull, pull, pull. All right, so now it's just a matter of cutting. And I always um, do my, um, all my bows or knots from the spool, that way I don't really waste that much. And so this one will go here. I probably need to move this one a little bit here. Now, it does look better with it under this. Yes, if I grab a little bit of this, yes, that will be nice. Okay, and then this one will have the dimensionals and now that I do this 
Let me see. This one fit in here. Or do I need to cut one? Maybe I need to cut one. Is that not crazy that now I have to be cutting that mini dimensionals for ears? <laughs> that way it fits better. Oh, thank you, Gator. Wow. I don't know how late this in Australia. <laughs> but thank you for joining me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be putting this little guy here. Yes. And then I'm going to be gluing those with... Um, With the mini dimensionals too. All right, so let's just pull. I'm glad you like it, Sandy. So this one will go right here. So here is the card number two. <laughs> Thank you, Betsy. Thank you, Shannon. So here's number two. Um, let's go for number three. So this one, I have darker colors. So I have this one, that one, and here is this little guy. All right, so I'm going to be so this one is Knight of Navy. Again, it's five and a half. Oh my goodness, I have too many things here. So I have um, five and a half by eight and a half and the same thing. I'm gonna be folding this in half. So now I'm using bone folder. And I have a piece of Whisper White, and this one is four by four by five and one quarter. And this one go, it's going to go inside so that I can write inside. So let me just glue that one right away because otherwise I forget to show that part. Oh, oh. there we go. So. Alright, now I have a piece of, and this one comes from the Eclectic, so Eclectic Design Series paper. Oh, Naturally Eclectic, which is this one. Um, so, this is the one. I think this one will also be really cool for this project. Um, and this Design Series paper is also from the catalog, from the annual catalog. And let me just tell you measurements because I don't remember what I cut this one to. It's two and one quarter by five. And I'm just going to do a banner. So I always cut in like in the middle and then I do point to point. Although this one is kind of hard to see because the design is kind of too busy. There we go. And this one will go here. So I'm just going to go ahead and and we're going to put this one here. Mm, yes. Which is not quite oh, well, it's already there. Once you put the fast fuse it's there. It stays. So, it's not quite, and you can see it's kind of creaky, but okay. We'll try to hide it. <laughs> and I have, um, I have Lemon Lime Twist and Whisper White um, already die cut from the layering circle. So, these are the ones that I use. And what is cool is you get the circle and the scallop shape that matches. So, I have that one. And then I also... I cut already the banner from the lots of 
lots of lots to love box, which is this one. Um, so I already die cut that one in pool party. So for this one, I think it would be nice to have um, this guy. And um, I'm just excited to pull that color. But I think it would be nice to have it in Night of Navy since the car base is Night of Navy. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it right there in the middle. Thank you, battery. There we go. Yes, this one will go really nice there. And then the same thing happened on this one. So I don't know what I did. So I stamp the rabbit uh, or the money with um, crumb cake. And I already hand cut it with my scissors. So I have already done those steps just because I don't think you want to be watching me cutting this guy. Now, one thing that um, I did kind of notice is that first try to cut this section and this section because that was like the hardest part to hand cut. So after that, then it was easy to do the, the full thing. So same as with the other one, we're going to be putting the flowers and I'm just going to this one is the same color. So I'm gonna be putting the leaves. Like so. Okay. And then I figure that this time I probably need to use the, what is this color? Peekaboo Peach, I think. Let me just find it. Yeah, I think Peekaboo Peach is, and I'm following this color on this one. It's not this one. Yeah, Peekaboo Peach. For the flower. Yes. So it's going to be kind of the same deal as with the other one. And you know what? For this one, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to put this little dot on the other side. And where is Calypso Coral? Let me start closing. By the way, um, this is the perfect time to start getting the in color because they're going to be retiring i believe that in april they're going to come out with the list of what's retiring and usually these colors go the first and like during the first day <laughs> so if there is a color um from the in colors that is um from 20 what is it 16 to 2018 that you really like, you really need to stock up, like the ink, the reinker and the ink pad, because those are the first ones that go away the fastest. So uh, don't let them, don't let them go, because once they're gone, they're gone for good. So anyway, um, now I'm gonna be putting. Well, before I do that, I probably should do the blue. What do you do with the pool party? Just so I know where that one goes. And that one is this little one. So I'm gonna be putting one here, one there, one here, one there. And now that one was full party. And then I'm back to the, yes, peekaboo peach. And I'm gonna be putting these little flowers randomly. Probably should put one more here. Okay. And then my little bunny will go here. Yes. Or maybe here. And then we'll put this one 
Yes, that will be nice. Okay, so same deal as with the other one. We're gonna be putting dimensionals. Hello, Carl. All right. Okay, so we're going to be putting this one like so. We're going to be putting this one here. This one will go on dimensional, so let's put dimensionals as well. And what do you do with the other one? Let's just cut another piece for the ear. Yeah, let's just put everything together there. Okay, and then this one. I'll have to put some flash fuse. Yes. And then I'll put flash fuse on this one. And I'm gonna do two big dimensionals on this. So they are at the same level. Okay. All right. Yes. There we go. Mm -hmm. Bye, Lucy. I'll see you next week. So here's the third one. And again, you'll have... Now, it would be nice if we also stem here some flowers, but since I'm already glued here, I wouldn't do it. Um, but yeah, now that I see this, it might be nice to put some of these same flowers like here, don't you think? So anyway, so this is the third one. Let me just show you what we have done so far. And uh, I'm trying to use the Happy Easter. And uh, let me just go with the last one. So the last one, um, let me just go here. I didn't even did the bow on that one. Oh, you know what? Here's the other thing that I probably want to do on that one before I forget. I think I wanted to do, see, I always forget about the bow. I might want to do another bow there. Hmm. I don't know if I can still put it. Let's see. I just remember I wanted to do a bow. Yes. Oh, yes. Much better. Yes. Ooh. See, usually I design these in my head. I don't have... I don't make it until I'm making it. And so sometimes it's hard for me to remember what I was thinking the day I was... The way I was designing them. <laughs> until I see something else. So yes, this one, yes, I like that bow made a difference, I think. <laughs> so back to this one. <laughs> um, okay, so this one is um, Whisper White, and again, it's five and a half by um, eight and a half. Same as with the other cards. We're going to just fold it in half. And I already have a piece of um, Whisper White that I have pre-embossed, and this is the basic, the Polka Dot Basics um, folder, and um, I really like it. I usually never do white on white, but because this one has the Polka Dots, I think like it's gonna be fine. And um, I also have, let me just check what I have here. Have these. And I have already also hand cut another of these bunnies. Because 
I really like the button. I think that this is really cute. So anyway, by the way, I got this idea from Pinterest. And I'll put it when I post it on my blog. I'll put the name of the lady. Because I just can't remember right now who it was. But I'm pretty much copying it almost exactly how it was. I, I believe so. So anyway, um, the only thing that I did change is she used the stamp. She used this stamp, I believe, yes. And then hand cut it. And then what I did on this one is I used the layering ovals. And then what I'm just doing on this part, I didn't do it until just now, but I just kind of draw a little bit here so that it kind of looks like an A. But this is when, um, and so now I'm just gonna go and, there we go. And now that I do that, you probably just wanna soften a little bit the, the edges so it doesn't look like there we go so that way I have more of a pointy egg then um, it will just look too like an oval so I think it looks fine either way I just wanted to have that pointy egg look um, so anyway um, and so let's just go ahead and put this together now this one um, one of these is from the Natural Eclectic and the other one is from the uh, Whole of a Lovely Design Series Paper that I showed earlier. And so we're just going to go ahead and um, I'm actually going to just cut a little bit so they kind of have a little bit different dimensions like so. So this one will be more like so, yes. All right, so let's just glue that. Hmm. And then the same thing with this one. more toward this area and I think at this point I can just glue this and I'm gonna be putting dimensionals on this one so I want it to be flat um by the way before I forget um I'm having an ordering incentive and so anyone placing an order during March using this host code get um cart kit in the mail from me um where you get everything to make four cards. Everything is, it's uh, pre-cut and you have all the supplies except for the stamping. Because I cannot send stamp images. But um, if you order $50 or more, you also get the accessory of the, month, of the month. And I'll send all the kits the following month. So all the orders in March will get their kit in April. So if you... And by the way, this is the last month of celebration, which it's kind of crazy that I didn't use any of the celebration items today. But I really want to focus on the Easter and I guess I didn't plan well putting putting things from um, the celebration. But anyway, um, but this is the last month. So we're on the last weeks of celebration. So if there's anything that you like, definitely, definitely. Go for it. So I think this one goes like so. And then this one will have, I wanna put here the, where is the other one here? I have this one that says, hello spring. So let's just do that one. And I'm gonna use again, the whisper white, the whisper, the crumb cake, because last time I used the black it kind of look too dark so let's just try the same thing with this so I went hello spring let's see how it looks oh yes really good um and I have um pre-punch 
this one is and it's with the double banner which now I don't know what I did with it it was here because I wanted to show it to you and of course of course I don't have it with me right now hmm what did I do with it I'm sure it's somewhere here because I just punched it out anyway um but it's the one that has the two punch the two banners so this one will go like so this one will be here and I believe that's it. Oh. So let's just go ahead and glue everything now. Okay. I'm going to be using dimensionals on this. Hmm. I'm still thinking, what did I do with that punch? Huh. Oh, goodness. One of these days, I'll do this right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be putting it here. And then I'm going to be putting the little bunny again with the dimensionals. And let me cut one little one for the ear. And now I'm going to be putting this little bow like so here. So let's just put the bow with the many glue dots. You know what? I'll probably put it like so. There we go. And so here it is. So these are the cards for tonight. Let me just show them all again. I had a lot of fun um creating with this set so hopefully you have liked them all and if you do do share my video or leave a comment i hope you have enjoying it and i'll see you um next week like i said don't forget about the ordering incentive this is the hostess code to use and you'll get the um the cart of the month the monthly cart kit with instructions as well as the um and if your order is $50 or more, you get also the um, accessory of the month. So thank you so much and hope to see you next week too. Thanks a lot for joining me. Bye.